Thank you very much for talking with Absolutely. us. Absolutely. How did this journey begin for you? How did you get on board? You know, Robert Redford invited me to meet. Uh, Bob had seen a couple of films of mine. The last film I directed, Big Miracle, was set in northern Alaska, and I think that he was very appreciative of the environmental aspect of that film. But he also really enjoyed uh, some of the, the lighter films I've directed, like He's Just Not That Into You. And I think that he really uh, you know, had a, just a good sense that I, could, uh, I, would, I was the right person to direct him in a, you know, in, in a comedic role. And uh, you're directing Robert Redford and Nick Nolte. Those are really two icons when it comes to movies. Is that, is that something you have to put aside so you can get to work, or do you think about that? Well, I mean, you, you can't not think about it, but then you have to stop thinking about it because you have a job to do, you have a story to tell. And the great thing about Bob is that he said, on, you know, when I met him, he goes, I'm going to take off my producing hat, I'm going to take off my directing hat, I'm going to be the actor. I'm going to focus on bringing the character Bill Bryson to life. So I, so um, you know, every once in a while, I would stop and say, "Wow, I'm working with the Sundance Kid." But mostly, it was you know, we were we we're in there trying to tell a story, talk the best story we could. And how much time uh, did you guys actually spend hiking and in the uh, on the trail? Well, we went. I mean, we shot the picture mainly in Atlanta. Uh, the good news is there's so much great hiking in and around Atlanta that we were able to uh, recreate stretches of the Appalachian Trail. But then afterwards, we spent about a week or so going up the actual trail, going to some of the more iconic spots along the trail. But, I mean, I would say that, I mean, we shot in the spring and early summer. We were outside a lot. You know, we were definitely outside every day tramping through the woods. So. And were uh, Nick Nolte and Robert Redford all game for uh, everything you threw their way? Oh, yeah. I mean, I think that they... Uh, I actually think the film <laughs> helped them get into shape a little bit. But I mean, there's a lot of scenes where they have complicated emotional dialogue while they're like climbing a steep hill. And we would often have to do those scenes one, two, three, four, five, six, I don't know how many times. So they, you know, but they were game. They were into it. The chemistry between those two is off the charts crazy. Did you see that immediately? The day we did our wardrobe. Uh, test where we like put backpacks on them and, and had them try out different uh, hiking uh, clothes, I could tell just watching them together that they were going to be a fun team. Sometimes I'd said to Bob that they were like a little bit like Bob Hope and Ben Crosby together. And are you surprised at the kind of the, uh, the response that this movie is getting? Because I really think people are really kind of uh, uh, behind it in a surprising kind of way. I'm delighted that people are embracing it. And I think that what's wonderful about the picture is that on, on the surface, it's, you know, it's light, it's comedic, but it actually has strong emotional content that sneaks up on you. And by the end of it, you know, it, it's actually a very meaty and profound story in the sense that it deals with issues like reconnecting with you know, friends you haven't seen for decades, lost time, uh, examining where your life has been, roads taken and not taken. So it actually is a, it's a pretty, you know, it's a pretty meaty, meal by the end of it. So I think that's, you know, people, I think, come away feeling like they've had a full meal. Made in Hollywood.